everyone, if you struggle and are tired of having dropped calls and slow data service at your house because of a weak signal, I'm going to show you what we can do about that. So the kit comes with everything that you'll need in the box already. You've got an installation guide and user manual. You have an indoor antenna, the outdoor antenna, the booster unit itself, and then all of the cables and mounting hardware that you'll need. So there is outdoor antenna mounting hardware and one for the indoor equipment, your power adapter, and then cables come with a small, thin uh, interconnection here that you can run through a door or window and still be able to close the door or window so you don't have to drill holes or uh, do anything too drastic to your house to be able to install this. So let's get to that. So the first step is to locate and mount the antenna for the outdoor section. So you can see it's got an up arrow here. We've got weep holes, so if water does get in, it can drip back out. I want to make sure those are on the bottom. Let's put this bracket in. Of course, the antenna wire goes through the center of that. We'll just tighten up these two bolts. And then there are multiple ways to help locate where your signal is going to come from best. So I've looked at a map, and I've also checked the cell phone signal. There are helpful hints also in the installation guide that you can follow. So I want my antenna because it's directional and the cell tower signals are also directional. We need to point this to the tower so that we get a direct connection kind of line of sight. So I know that I want my antenna to face out this way. I'm going to mount these brackets on my rail here and then we'll pass the cable through the door to the inside. Okay, so moving to installing the indoor antenna, in planning the installation, you want to make sure that your outdoor antenna faces one direction into your uh, service provider, and then your indoor antenna, you want to point the opposite direction if possible, because they are all directional, and to avoid signal interference and get the best possible signal boost from this unit, uh, we'll plan it that way. So I've chosen a central location in my house that is going to point towards uh, the bulk of the house where we typically are. It just mounts on the wall with a small plate. You slide it on and we'll connect up the cables and go to the main unit. Okay, so I've got all green lights here. If any of them turn red, that means there's not enough separation between my antennas. Uh, but we're looking good here. This is going to cycle through different bands. So each carrier has different uh, frequencies that they uh, run their networks on. I can see here the gain of the outdoor antenna, what it's picking up. So the higher the number, the better. So I can tweak my installation from here. <clears throat> and then this is the signal boost for my indoor antenna. So anything that's at least 10 decibels or so higher is a really good signal and it's going to be perfect. And now just to show, I've got full bars of service here. Normally right here I would have two or three bars and then it would drop out almost entirely when I go to the basement. So this has fixed the issue and it's going to be great and my cell phone now can be used all over my entire property. 